Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick. Uh, today we're pointing at the hi-fi setup. Uh, we're going to be taking a look uh, at a lot of audio equipment here. Uh, while I got some other uh, equipment coming in, we've got a lot of reviews coming up. Make sure you stay tuned. Uh, so we've gone over a lot of uh, previous equipment that I've used in my setup. Uh, amps from Bravo Audio, uh, Parasound, uh, a lot of headphones, but most of those were gaming uh, PC type headphones. Uh, now we're going to get uh, into some hi-fi-ish headphones. Today we're going to start off real easy. Uh, you notice one of my pair of headphones uh, is missing. Uh, they are the Audio Technicas. Uh, relatively uh, inexpensive pair of headphones. Uh, something good to start off with. I'm not going to throw any $700 uh, headphones at you right away. Uh, so let's take a look at these. Uh, these are the Audio Technica Quiet Point series headphones. Uh, specifically, they're the Audio Technica ATH ANC27. Uh, ATH is Audio Technica dash. ANC, which is active noise canceling, and then I have no idea what 27 means. Uh, so it comes in a wonderful case like this. Uh, they're, they're quiet point series headphones is to directly compete uh, with Bose. All their marketing is very similar to Bose's. Uh, quiet series headphones uh, that they're, you know, for the businessman that travels and you're in the air a lot, uh, and they're uh, wonderful noise canceling uh, and a very good uh, sound quality for the price. Uh, so let's take a look at these. Comes in a nice little case here. Uh, it, it does zip up uh, nice and neat. Uh, it kind of has the, it's uh, hard. There's a plastic shell that's in here. Uh, hard on the back, so it protects it pretty well. Uh, on the front, uh, there's also uh, some hard plastic padding that's covered by this uh, material that's um, kind of like neoprene, but uh, it kind of feels like a old backpack or something like that. Uh, and uh, comes with a little clasp uh, up here that you can attach it to uh, your luggage or something like that uh, and zips up nice and neat so if my camera will focus here we go uh, we will take a look inside so you open the headphones up uh, you've got the headphones over on this side uh, some cables that I had hanging around in there uh, then up here you got a nice little compartment uh, for storing all the attachments uh, that Audio Technica gives you so we'll dive right into it here uh, this uh, cable actually comes with the headphones um, but is not used in the headphones. Uh, this is just a um, 1.2 meter, just under four foot cable. Uh, it has a right angle eighth inch plug uh, to a straight eighth inch plug. Um, so I guess you can kind of use it as an interconnect in your system, uh, but you can't actually use this to connect your headphones to anything. And I'll explain that in a minute. Next uh, cable, same size. This is the one you actually use to connect your headphones, same size. Uh, just under four feet, 1.2 meters. Uh, this has your uh, standard eighth inch, three and a half millimeter uh, stereo cable. And then this is the stereo mini, uh, which is uh, much smaller uh, than the other one. And this end is the end that actually plugs into your headphones. Now, I'll, I'll explain that uh, a little bit in more detail. Uh, so in this little uh, zipper pouch here, they give you a couple of attachments. Uh, one uh, is an airline adapter. Uh, so if you're on your airplane or something like that, plug this in. It will uh, help you connect to um, different audio uh, devices uh, while you're in the air. Uh, and they give you an eighth inch uh, to quarter inch uh, adapter here. Uh, so your eighth inch converts it to a quarter inch. Uh, so if you're a person like me and you have quarter inch uh, inputs for your headphones on your devices, uh, you'll need one of those, but these are very, very easy to come by. Uh, they range between a couple bucks to 20 bucks if you get the really, really nice ones. Uh, so let's take a look at the headphones. Uh, pretty good design, sturdy. Sturdy yet malleable, I guess, uh, is, is what I would use. Uh, so they do swivel. Um, these headphones swivel in the right direction, though. If you watched my review uh, of some of the Logitech speakers, uh, these swivel outwards. Uh, so when I'm wearing them, uh, and if the flight attendant or somebody comes over, uh, I can pull the earphones down, uh, but still flip them up, you know, if I want to listen uh, to music. Now, they do have a tight grip. Like right now, that, I got them around my neck. They're kind of choking me a little bit. Uh, does have a pretty tight grip. Very adjustable. Uh, now, I don't have the biggest ears in the world, uh, but they just fit uh, over my ears. Uh, very nice um, pleather. I wouldn't call it leather, uh, but very nice uh, 
padded cups. They're not uh, very plushy or soft. Uh, they do have some rigidity to them, uh, but I've never had uh, much of a problem with uh, listening to them for extended periods of time. Uh, drivers in there are pretty standard 40 millimeter drivers, same as any other pair of headphones in the entire world. Uh, they don't really tell you too much information about the driver uh, on Audio Technica's website. I assume it's uh, relatively generic. Um, these do have uh, some pretty big uh, bass response. I've been I've been impressed with them, uh, and they are uh, relatively wide um, ear cups on that. But uh, the plastic design, it's plastic all the way around. Uh, it's got a uh, the same leather padding, uh, much more uh, plush uh, for the headband though. Uh, everything else is just about plastic. Um, I've never had any problems with uh, it losing its structural integrity. Uh, very, very well built, uh, even though it's it's basically all plastic. Uh, the click to adjust settings uh, on the headband are wonderful. It's got a little metal uh, brushed aluminum band in there. Uh, and always, always stays sturdy. I, I never, it's never, you know, loose or anything or, you know... You, you tug on it a little bit and all of a sudden it, it slides all the way down your ear. Uh, very easy to adjust. Uh, never had never had any problems finding my right fit uh, with these headphones. So let me go over a couple specs. I've got it on my computer over here. They are active noise canceling. Um, so I'll go into that in a second. Uh, 40 millimeter drivers. The frequency response is pretty normal. All these specs are uh, 20 hertz to 20,000 uh, hertz. Uh, up to 18 dB uh, in noise reduction. So something in the uh, background can be happening at um, 18 dB, uh, and it will uh, cancel that out. And the louder it is, the more noise canceling it puts on, the more battery it consumes uh, to keep things very quiet. And just, just wearing the ear cups, uh, they fit right over my ears. Uh, just that in itself, uh, the snug fit. Um, cancels noise uh, as it is so uh, obviously closed back uh, headphones here uh, so they're not I don't know too many pairs of headphones uh, that are open or semi-open uh, that are also noise canceling so uh, I guess the only con with the design uh, is the very wide uh, ear cup I like to see something a little bit slimmer uh, the profiles not not too bad I, I haven't worn these headphones in a while uh, but they're not they're not awful uh, so the maximum input power is 500. Uh, milliwatts, the sensitivity on it is 106 dB, uh, so you can crank these up pretty loud. Uh, impedance is 33 ohms, so they're not easy to drive, uh, but they're not hard to drive either. Uh, it uses one AAA alkaline battery, which I'll get to in a second. It says you get up to 40 hours of battery life on these with the active noise canceling. I don't think it's that much. I think you get about 25 to 30 hours uh, on, on a battery. These do definitely consume batteries, uh, but they're not as bad as some other headphones. Uh, they weigh 192 grams, 6.8 ounces, so just under half a pound. They are pretty darn lightweight, uh, even in the case. The case weighs almost nothing. Uh, let's see. I talked about the cables. talked about the connector. Uh, and the accessories that they include, uh, we've gone over that. They actually do include uh, a battery with it. So uh, on the back here, we've got a very small switch here on the bottom. Uh, and that will uh, click on the noise canceling. Uh, there's a little red light uh, when it is active. Uh, and that brings in the uh, active noise canceling, turns everything on, and uh, you'll definitely notice things things get quieter. They do, they do a pretty good job uh, at noise canceling. They're not the best, uh, but for the price point, uh, they are very, very adequate. Uh, on the other side here where there are no buttons, that's where the battery is uh, held. So you pop the bottom up. Uh, and this, this ear cup here, it's the right ear cup, uh, will open up uh, and you've got your one uh, AAA battery in there uh, that you can use. Uh, pretty easy to open, uh, definitely easier to uh, get at that uh, than any other uh, headphone that I've really really had to use. So uh, very, very good build quality. Haven't had any complaints with it. Um, I use them for a very, very long time. They retail uh, at $100, $99.99 uh, from Audio Technica. Uh, currently in 2015, they have been discontinued. Uh, as of 2015, uh, they got dropped uh, in their product line. They kind of got rotated out. I've had these headphones for, oh heck, I don't know, maybe five years. Um, but I just wanted to start with something uh, nice and simple. Amazon over here uh, has them for 70 bucks 
or, or you can get the same model, but it's the uh, ANC27X. I have no idea what the what the X is versus the uh, original. Uh, and they also mentioned that they are uh, discontinued by the manufacturer. Uh, still a really, really good pair of headphones. Uh, they definitely compete against Bose uh, directly. Do I think they're better than Bose? Yes, in terms of build quality, absolutely. Uh, and price. This is obviously half the price uh, of the competitor. Um, so if you're if you're interested uh, in something like that, really expanding uh, some headphones, Audio Technica. Uh, this is kind of their uh, middle range uh, headphone. Uh, I've I've been pretty impressed with these. Uh, so like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Uh, I know I can't answer every single question, uh, but I will be around uh, to answer as many as I can. Uh, and next, uh, we'll probably be mixing it up. We'll go along with uh, something else. Maybe I'll do a quick tour uh, of the setup. Uh, I'll probably post that after, after this. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.